Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Well, I come from a large law enforcement family. My dad, his five brothers, and two cousins were all officers here in Kansas City. Three on the Kansas side and four on the Missouri side. And I knew as a toddler what I was going to be when I see my dad coming home in uniform. And uh, I'm fortunate enough to be able to have been hired. And I like my job. My family supports me. And... Uh, that's basically how I got into it, kind of in my jeans. 10.45 at uh, 20th and Walker, no tags. 20th and Walker, 20th and 30th. There we go. 119. The, uh, I'm trying to stop is going east on New Jersey from uh, 18th Street, occupied by three black males, 1085. 19, backup code A, they bailed out. Whoops, car, black male, going uh, north, just east of. Uh, Copy code A. Just east of 18th Street. Black male, white tank top. We're going northbound still. East of 18th Street. North of uh, Wood. Where you at, Mike? North of Wood on 18th, 18th Street. See, east of 18th. Just north of Wood. Guys on the east side of the road on 18th. He's probably passing Garfield right now. What kind of car was this here today? <laughs> it's going to be a blue over white Oldsmobile, I believe. Coupe, two door. Just to check. Anybody run in here? Eighteenth and Troop. One twenty check with the NSC head of the airport. I just tried to do a traffic stop and they bailed out. There was no car pursuit. Right. Uh, just drug paraphernalia. As we were chasing the guy, he was reaching his back right pocket. He was probably going for dope to pull it out and throw it down as we were chasing him. We can't find out if it's registered or not right as of now, so I'm running the VIN number. I'd say the way that they uh, bailed out of the car and let it roll into the tree, it's probably not their car. Drug paraphernalia there. He was reaching his back pocket as we were running, so probably had some dope, either that or a gun to match the bullets. I don't know which. Well, the guy that just uh, got out of the car and ran from us, he uh, 
forgot to take his Four, ID with him. This uh, matches the paperwork in the car on his address. And uh, looking at it, there's a positive ID okay, now. We're going to get this officer to go with us and run by the guy's house see if we can't uh, take him into custody. 19, myself, and 117 will be out at 1838. Well, I was a little disappointed that this guy got away because we gave a good foot chase to him, and uh, it went quite a ways. And I thought he was gone for good. Wouldn't be able to catch him, no information on him. So, uh, mistake on his part, it's going to cost him because I'm going to get this guy. Police. Hi, ma'am. How are you? Hi. Can I talk to you for just a second, please? Sure. Can I step in? It's awful hot out here. Sure. I appreciate it. Um, you all can come through. Okay. I don't care. I don't Thank care. you. I appreciate it. No. You guys can come through. Okay. I'm, the baby's I'm, asleep, but now other than that, you can come through. Do you know Donnie Walker? Or Donnie, uh... Donnie, that's probably who you're talking about. Yeah. That's my son. Is that, and he don't stay here? No, he doesn't live here. Okay, because I got his car, and I just need to release it to him. That's fine, but I, I mean, you know he how I get a, it. you know how I can get a hold of him? He called me earlier today, but I can show you the phone. When he calls me, he calls me anonymous. Okay. He, he never even calls me. Oh, well, I can't. We'll see you while ago, I saw. When he phones me, let me show you. When he phones me, see that? That was him. He phones me anonymous. Where you think you might be staying at? I mean, he's just in the world. He, he, his lifestyle. He, he fools with people that I don't even let come in my yard. Like what kind of people? Like they, they look. All I know is I, I call it street like. Mm -hmm. That's all the the name that I give it is street life. Mm -hmm. And I tell him he wasn't raised that way, but he chose that life, so I let him have that life. Mm -hmm. But they look streety to me. Their pants are all down, and when he lived here, he didn't dress that way. Well, you seem like a real good mom, and you're a nice lady. I appreciate your help by letting us in and talking to us, but it's uh, pretty important that I get a hold of him. I want to talk to him. Like I said, I got his car, and I need to release it back to him if there's any way possible to... You know, Doniel is one of those children where Doniel probably figures that if it, if it is some trouble going on, mm. Doniel figures I would tell you. So why would he tell me? Okay. You know, the neighbors will, will verify the kind of person I am. They'll tell you I'm the kind that would turn my children in if something was wrong. Okay. I believe you. You know? In that case, when you see him, let him know that uh, when I catch him, he's going to go to jail. Okay. Went to college to be a pilot, ended up in the military. One of the jobs that was open to me at that time was a military policeman. I did get exposed to the, this type of work and found out I really liked it. So I got out of the service and started doing it full time as a as a police officer. Going to a disturbance on 29th Terrace. Evidently, somebody's parked their truck in their neighbor's yard, and now they're refusing to move it. So we're going to go over here and see if we can't get him to move it and see what the circumstances are behind it. There's a bunch of folks down here. This is probably it. Yeah, we see you, partner. What's up here, Bob? Who called? Why don't you, you uh, put, put the, the chain, chain down? down. No, put it down. There you go. That's what he had. Who had? That's what that guy had. What do you think? I'm, I'm sitting here asleep. Man pulls up in my driveway, hollering for my you girlfriend. Didn't pull up the driveway, he pulled up the yard. Uh -huh. He comes up to the yard. His name's Jim. And he comes up to the yard, beating on the door, running his mouth. I told him to leave. The man didn't leave, so I punched him in his mouth. He pulls out the chain, mm -hmm. and then he threatens to beat my ass with it. Okay. okay. So I beat his ass, and he runs off. Oh, okay. You guys. So, All right. Well, I know. just wanted to what, make a report of it well. in case he comes back. You asked him to leave, right? Yeah, he pulls up and drive a roll. Then he threatened you? Yeah, he threatened okay. me my ass. That's why I hit him and knocked him back down the stairs, and that's when he grabbed the chain. Okay. All right. 
Um, if he comes back or something, just give us a call. Okay, okay. I mean, because I don't want to keep getting harassed. Well, I understand. All night I understand. This guy was swinging the tape, this guy, and this guy was bending the tape. He was hitting it with the door. He was hitting the door with it. Okay. He swung the chain at the door. Okay. And well, we may have the guy at the station, so we're going to go down there and check. Did you hear that? What's that? Assault victim at the station. Okay. We're going to go to the station and see if it's him. Yeah, it yeah. is. It is. He said he was bloody. <laughs> I told him he hit his head on that uh, fender of that truck. I told him he was pretty bloody. He was a white male, older and balding, wearing a white shirt with blue stripes. Yeah, that's him. That's him. Right there, 48. Okay, hold us out there in regard. Ready for the station, 2049. Y'all gonna be here where we can come back and contact y'all? live here and they live there. Okay. Hey, partner. Partner. Hey. Will you sign a complaint on this guy? All right. They're saying that, that the guy jumped out of the truck with the chain first, ran up and was beaten on the door. Now nah, we'll come back. Or possibly a suspect from this last disturbance that showed up at the station. We think it's him anyway. Matches the description, and he's trying to report an assault on him. When actually it sounds like he's going to be the primary aggressor, and he decided to duke it out with this guy and call him outside, and this guy came out to defend himself in his house and everything to keep this guy from tearing it up. And actually, the primary aggressor sounds like he's the one that got whooped. So we're going to go over and see if we can't get the other side of the story. And quite possibly, we're going to make an arrest out of this deal. Probably the guy that's at the station. What's your name? James. James. Yeah. What's going on? I went over to get this girl. She, she ran off and hid. And, uh, Who is this girl to you? Well, I wanted to. Who's this girl to you? Is she your girlfriend, wife, what? Well, she was, but yeah, she was, and she What's disappeared. What? My girlfriend. Uh huh. And we was talking about, uh, you know, getting married and having a child, and uh -huh. throwing it together and everything. Uh -huh. And and she, you know, she got all freaked out and everything. And and I went over there and uh -huh. I said, "Come on, you know, let's go." Uh huh. And uh, hell, this big buck ass naked. Son of a bitch, he, get, he, he jumped up there with a knife, and I reached back in the truck and uh, grabbed Chopper's chain. And this other guy from down the road came up and just laid me out. How would you react if somebody pulled up in your yard with a truck okay. and oh, pulled up? Now, hang on, okay. let me finish. Okay, I'm wrong. And, and started calling this guy out, trying to take his girlfriend or pick a no, fight with him. Her, her and I was talking. I'll tell you what, I'm going to put you in your back in her wrist. Fair enough. Let go your hand. Okay. He's got a huge dog with him. Okay. Is it in the, uh, leave in the car? Get any guns in the no, car? Leave your dog in the car. He got hit in the head with fists. Okay. That's what the neighbors are all saying, fists. Well, no damn fist. He's got some bumps and bruises and some scrapes on him. Can you check him out? A little bit. We got a call over on 29th Terrace. And uh, evidently this guy came over there and drove up in their yard. And his, his, his ex-girlfriend is dialing with another guy over there. And he goes over there and says, you're coming with me or else. He starts going beating on their door with a chain, like a like a dog chain. And the guy comes out of the house, butt naked. And this guy says, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to whoop you. This guy says, he's going to whoop the other guy. And the other guy goes, I don't think so. And, well, he got the worst end of it, but he started it, so. Oh, OK. All right. Good deal for trespassing and quite possibly disorderly. Okay. Welcome to fight. All right. And we got animal control coming for the dog. We'll probably leave the, the truck here for right now. Just give him the opportunity to get bond out. I was not messing with the man. What were you messing with? Just marijuana. Marijuana. Yeah. Well, yeah. as far as tonight goes, sounds like you've uh, learned a pretty valuable lesson by going over there and messing with that guy, huh? Well, uh, you ain't gonna, in other words, you ain't going to do it no more. No, I, no, so you don't understand. On, yeah, no, we're we'll catching you some slack here, no, make you, you a bond where you can afford it. Right. And I don't want to. I don't want to hear about you going back over there tonight, okay? Not me. Or any time for that matter, because trust me, it's not going to be hard to figure out if something happens to them people or something goes on over there, or who it's going to be. Well, I don't. Have you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah. What it ends up being is this guy went over there. Tried to resume a lost love, I guess, with this girl, and she's already found her a different man. She want nothing to do with him, and uh, he tried to pick a fight with that old boy and, at his own house, which isn't a very smart thing to do. And basically, he got whooped. I mean, he picked a fight with a bigger guy, and he lost. 
A lot of people ask you why you want to be a police officer. Uh, you could give them the generic answer, you know, protect and serve the community. Uh, and that's fine, and there's a lot to that. Uh, for me, probably the, the real reason, uh, I'd call it the, you know, the thrill of the chase. Uh, when the you know, dispatcher calls you and that hot tone comes out, and the next thing you know, you're chasing a, a bad guy with a gun, and to me, that's what it's all about. We got a vehicle here we're going to check out. What in the world? What is that guy doing? Chevy truck. Copy. 45 that vehicle at 2nd Central. What are we doing? Nothing. See him when he gets the car there. We'll be out at Market and Woods Weather. No, you lean over here. Are we down here working? No. Huh? I wasn't working. No. But you can go get something to eat. Well, produce me some ID. Uh, I don't have anything. What's your name? Gina. Gina? Gina what? Are you married, man? Yes. Does your wife know where you're at? Huh? Does your wife know where you're at? No. Mm -hmm. Are we practicing safe sex? No. How do you know him? you where you were working, is that that's what's going on? Yeah, well, it used to be when I was working there. Yeah, we just went and got something to eat right now. Just come in? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's going to be great when my husband finds out. So you're married? Yeah. How long have you been married? Seven years. Seven years? So you say you're supposed to be at work right now? Yeah. I'm going to do a bank run. Where do you live at? In Missouri. And you're married? Yeah. Does your wife know what you do? No. How often do you do this? Fairly regular? No. No. What do you think your wife would do if she found out? Probably leave me. Probably leave you. And you're out here having unprotected sex with a well-known prostitute? She said that uh, they gave her 20 bucks and then they wouldn't aid on that. Do you have kids that live in the house also? No. Well, lucky for them. Unlucky for your wife. How many times have you been arrested for it? Huh? How many times have you been arrested for us? Uh, for this? Yeah. I, I was over, I played it, uh, it was a joke over in Kansas City, Missouri. I knew it was a stakeout when they first tried this. They was advertising over the TV. And I stopped by and I was joking with this lady. And she was a, a cop. You got framed, right? Huh? You was framed, right? No, I wasn't framed. I'm not oh. saying I was framed. Okay. You want to call your wife for what? So she can make that last bank run. Okay. Does she work with you then, or what? Well, this is her bank run. It's what? This is her bank run. Her bank run? Yeah, she makes a bank run. All right. And I was doing it because she went. What, what does she have to deliver? Uh, she picks up checks. All right. And takes them and get processed. Well, since you've been cooperative, we'll go ahead and let you. Anybody else can come pick it up? No. Hello, sweetheart. Uh, yeah, I better not call you sweetheart. I got arrested. No, I'm not kidding. Kansas City, Kansas. You got you gotta make this last run. Sweetheart, sweetheart. You're gonna have to make this last run. Okay. 
she hung up on me. I don't know her personally, but uh, officers have constantly ran her, found her down here. Um, she's usually on the Missouri side soliciting people. Um, I've heard her name ran several times, and I've seen her on the Missouri side. I've never personally talked to her myself. But uh, this is a very bad spot as far as prostitutes go. They always, they always stand it right down here on the right on the, um, the Missouri-Kansas line. That way, if they see a cop from either side, they can just step across the line, and, and we can't do anything about it. Put your hands behind your back. Okay. Is there any way I can make this last run and come back and turn myself in? What's that? Could I make this last run and turn myself back in? Boy, Mary. I mean, go, go. I'm serious. I, I mean, don't, I... don't move. Sir, you should have thought about that before you came down here with the hooker. Now that you get caught, now you want to change what you did. Well, this gentleman admitted to having prior sexual offenses. Yeah, unfortunately, a lot of guys you run into out here soliciting these prostitutes, most of them are married, like this gentleman. We're going to go ahead and book him in jail and at least get him off the streets for a little while here. Got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint, 132 in Bush, coverage code 3. Thanks, Ted. Get it to 2514, 10, transmit on tech 2. Okay, we'll still send it code 3.